I'm not limited to just working with uh, blank canvases. I can work with pictures that I already have um, loaded into my web directory. So I've got a picture here called original.jpg. Um, in my PHP, the only thing I have right now is an echo of it, so you can see what it looks like. So here is, if this is still running, is what my picture is. It is a giant picture of one of my sweet little doggies. So an obvious thing you might want to do with the picture is do some resizing or turning, creating of a thumbnail. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, your first step is to get PHP to read your file in. So I'm just going to call this file. This is again just a variable name I'm choosing. File get contents and then the file name. If it's in a folder, I need to put the folder name first, but this is not. So I'm opening original.jpg. Okay. This does not actually give you access to the picture yet. It sort of just loads the data from the file, and then I always have to have this second step. Um, I'm going to call this a ridge pick, and it's image create from string and then file. So this basically reads the JPEG in as just like little text pieces, if you can believe that, and then it takes the text pieces and turns it into a, a picture, or in our case, this is just a canvas now that I have. Okay. Um, so one thing I might want to do is ask the original picture, how big are you? Because maybe I want to scale it down by a half or a third or something. So I can extract that information um, with two commands. So I'm going to make a variable called width, and I'm going to grab from my original canvas the image sx, and then I'll tell it I want to grab that off the original picture, okay, and the height equals images y ridge pick. And this will grab those um, values off the original picture. So I'm just going to echo them real quick so you can see that. Uh, width is this. And height is that. And then we can see what they are. Um, let's look here. So up here on the top. Oh, my picture is messing this up. Let me know. This is going to be annoying if I don't fix it. Let's break this. Okay. Come back over here. So this is a 1200 by 1155 image. Okay. So I can use that information to set um, the new size of like a smaller version of this thing. So what does that look like? Well, I want to say, okay, so my new, let's call it thumb width will be this guy. That's a pretty big picture, so let's uh, let's take it and divide it into a sixth of its size. Okay, and if that's too much, we can always adjust that number six there. And then I want to Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking this big picture and I'm mapping it to a smaller canvas. It's almost like I'm shrinking it down. So I need a second canvas to do that too. So I'm going to make this called thumbnail because um, that's what we call little small versions of pictures. Um, this isn't going to be quite as small as thumbnails usually are, but I'm gonna, I want it to be smaller. But I'm, again, I'm choosing this variable name. I'm going to create a canvas. Let's create your color. I want it to be um, this and this. All right, and now this canvas is blank. And then the last step is to map the big one onto the small one. And we call that copying a resampled, that version. So the command is image copy resampled. Okay, I'm gonna spell out here what the parameters mean. So we need to know the destination. We need to know the source. We need the destination's upper left-hand x value, the destination's upper right uh, left-hand y value. We need the source's upper left-hand x value and the source's uh, left-hand y value. We need the destination width, and the destination height, and the source width, and the source height. Those are how it's so hard to say. Okay, and so those are my parameters. So let's see. I want my destination here to be thumbnail. I want my source to be a ridge pick. Oops. All right. My destination, LX, I want it to go and map directly to so 0, 0. 
My source upper left hand corner is also 0, 0. My destination width and height are thumb width and thumb height. And my source width and height are width and height. All right. So that has done something, and I can't see what it is until I actually save it. So let's do this. Let's image JPEG this thing. Okay, and then we'll destroy the canvases. Oh. So we've got a ridge pick to get rid of. And we've got thumbnail to get rid of. Oops, I could spell. Can't. Okay. And then I've already got my original on the screen, so let's get my thumbnail just for compare them. So for samples, what did I call it? Oh, I forgot the rest of the arguments for this. That's not good. So I'm going to put the thumbnail. Let's call it thumb.jpg. All right. Thumb.jpg. OK, let's put a break between them so that you can actually see what the heck we're doing. And I made the same mistake I made before with these quotes. Go back and fix that. Being annoying. There we go. All right. Let's see what this thing did. So there's my little one-sixth the sized uh, sweet little puppy. And here's my original one. And I have scaled it down. And that is how I did it. If you look over here, I now have a thumb.jpg and an original.jpg. So that's how you scale down a picture.